So, you're wondering what's new with the 2025 Nissan Pathfinder? Well, you're in the right place. Nissan's given this family favorite a bit of a makeover, and I'm here to break down the changes from its design to the tech upgrades and everything in between. Stay tuned. For 2025, Nissan's focus is likely on redesigning the Armada, so the Pathfinder gets subtle updates. Expect more driver assist features on the base trim, a digital gauge display on mid-range models, and new color options for both paint and upholstery. The 2025 Pathfinder still carries that bold, boxy SUV presence, but with a more refined and modern look. The front grille is sharper and more aggressive, giving it a tougher stance. Nissan's also tweaked the headlights. They're sleeker and now feature adaptive LED technology, improving visibility and adding a high-tech feel. The new alloy wheel designs add an extra touch of style, and you can expect fresh color options to spice up the lineup so the Pathfinder looks as adventurous as it feels. Moving inside, this is where things really start to shine. The Pathfinder gets a more upscale cabin. Think higher quality materials, softer touch surfaces, and updated seating. Plus, the digital instrument cluster is now standard on all trims, which means that futuristic dashboard layout is within reach, even on the base models. But what's really cool? The new Pathfinder finally gets Nissan's latest infotainment system. A larger 12.3-inch touchscreen, wireless Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, and an upgraded sound system, making it easier to keep the family entertained on those long trips. Let's dive into performance. No major changes under the hood. Nissan's sticking with the reliable 3.5-liter V6 engine with 284 horsepower and 259 pound-feet of torque. The Rock Creek version bumps it to 295 horsepower with premium fuel. You'll get four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive options, paired with a nine-speed automatic transmission for smooth driving. But the big update here is in how the Pathfinder drives. Nissan has refined the suspension for a smoother ride and improved handling, especially around corners. The 2025 model also offers better towing capacity of up to 6,000 pounds. This makes it an excellent choice for hauling boats, trailers, and other heavy loads. As for pricing, we're not expecting a huge jump. The 2025 Pathfinder should start around the same ballpark as the previous model, with a base price in the low $40,000. Higher trims, especially with added features like the digital gauge display, will push closer to $50,000. If you're curious about the exact pricing or want to see the 2025 Pathfinder in person, I'd recommend checking out your local Nissan dealer. They'll have the most up-to-date info on availability, pricing, and even test drive options to explore everything firsthand. So, what do you think about the redesign? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.